I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. If it be a privilege to call you family. You hear that, Talia? Father will be so pleased. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Very well. That was easy. There. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah, here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! <laughs> you didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Arthur's done nothing wrong! If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, Roderick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Please! Please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Don't look! Please. Look at him. Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? 
This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. I'll see you dead for this! And that, Talia, is why no one likes your brother. The poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. I'm impressed. Whew. Lucky for me, you're a cripple. I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you. But now, I'm thinking... It might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. <sighs> Ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. 
yet we're bound by law to obey him. Man of God's, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... We'll worry about that after we get Ryan back. Once we've made the trade, then we can start to... Where is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no. Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. You can't blame yourself, Elena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous that father called him Quiver. And now to die. Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. He died as he lived. Bravely. As a man of the North. He died in agony and for nothing. Look at him, Roderick. There's hardly anything left of him. Elena. I'm sorry. Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roger. you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them even as we speak. I believe you, but you called attention to yourself, Mira. And you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. 
I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family? Of course it was worth it. They're my family. And they're very lucky to have you. I'd better go before she sees me. She will be. Mira Forrester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Come on, Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezor Zaraza in my hand and you made me let him go. You know why. <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. And for what? It wasn't fair to bring you to Marina and not let you... I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, another fucking apology. I'll add it to my collection. We should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. But you denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. To the letter, if reports are true. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. You said something about not leaving empty-handed? Don't make me change my mind. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros.
I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. She broke her word, Uncle. Not without her reasons. She did it once. She could easily do it again. Maybe. But this alliance might be worth the risk. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. You can't stop me from going north. <laughs> I wouldn't try, but I'm not going with you either. And without me... Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me! Some wildlings, a uh, free folk, uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. You want to go back, Finn? Or well, go ahead. No one's stopping you. You know I can't do that. Finn, will you... Just piss off. 
awesome leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. We've got next to nothing to eat. Cotter's a bloody liar. And now we've got his freak sister to worry about. Well, things could be worse. How? You know what? I'd rather warm my ass next to a fucking wildling than talk to you any longer. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. Oh. Well, it's not so bad. Wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. It's my turn. Oh, really? You even know how to use that thing? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I never miss. I never miss. <laughs> right. Ah, 
you're joking. Maybe next time, Garrett. Well, since we don't have any food... Well, what's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Aish River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Garrett! Help! Cotter! What the fuck? Look out! This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I've been fighting alongside cell swords for years, Beska. I know how to talk to killers. Understand these aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. I can handle this. Oh, after you then. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came, before I decide to eat you. I'll start with your eyeballs. Fucking juicy when they pop. And then I'll pull out your little bones to pick my teeth with. 
You think I'm scared of you? Why don't you threaten me one more time and see what happens? You listen to me, little man. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, Amaya! Company! Is that a pit? Eh? Some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting. So they built their own private pits. Where things could get really nasty. That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. Enough! I didn't come to hear your bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pit had been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years! Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. 
I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. Eh, I thought worse. And what do they call that, that scary one with the two axes and the skull tattoo back in lease? What, was it pestilence, plague? The scourge. Right, the scourge. Anyway, he's dead. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. Well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you look after my uncle? <laughs> no. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from him as possible. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. You fight dirty. I like that. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me. Here, use this. Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy.
again, your stupid fools. Your old champion is gone, as are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fighting under someone else's rules. I won't hold you back. Fight with me, and there are no rules. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you!